Hello and welcome to government class. In today's government class, we'll be looking at the features of Nigerian federalism. The features of Nigerian federalism. What are the major features or attributes of Nigerian federalism? The first is division of power. In Nigerian federalism, the first is division of power. In Nigerian federalism, the available constitutional power that exists in the country are shared between the federal or the central government and the federating units, which we call, which were called regions and now they are called states and the local government. So in Nigeria's federalism, we can see something, we can see division of, of constitutional power that exists in the country in that the power is shared between the federal or the central government, the federating unit, which um, was known as regions before, but now is known as states and the local government. In that we can see the fact that um, power is being shared between the federal and the central government, is shared between the, um, the federal and the, the federal government or the central, or the central government and the federating unit which were known as regions before, but now we call them states, and also the local government. So there's clear division of power in our, in the, there's clear division of the constitutional power between the federal government, the federating units, and the local government. One feature of Nigeria's federalism is the supremacy of the constitution. The constitution is supreme. No, no, no power of government can override the constitution. No president can override um, the powers, the can override the powers as stated in the constitution. So what we see in Nigeria's federalism also is that the, the constitution is supreme. We can see the supremacy of the constitution. Another feature of Nigeria's federalism is derivation of power. The constitution is regarded as the only source where all the three tiers of government, which is the federal, the state, and the local government, and all the public institutions derive their power within the political systems of the country. So the constitution is the only source where the three tiers of government derive their past from and other on other public institution every every tier of government and every public institution they derive their powers within from the constitution within the limits that the constitution says their power can go or out or where the constitution limits their power that is where their power can stop so every arm or tier of government and every political institution in nigeria's federalism they derive their power from the constitution and this is also another feature of nigeria's federalism derivation of power from the constitution. The constitution is the only source, the only source, the only legit source of power for all tiers of government and public institution. The constitution states the limits of their powers um, and the areas where their powers can, where they can exercise their powers. Another feature of Nigerian federalism is written constitution. The constitution adopted by Nigerian federalism is mainly written and it is rigid in nature and scope that is is not flexible, it cannot be changed easily. Before you can change any item on, that, on the constitution of Nigeria, you have to go through a long and tedious process. So Nigeria's constitution is both written and rigid in, in nature and scope. And this is also another feature of Nigerian federalism. We have a written constitution which is rigid and which is rigid in nature and scope. Another feature of Nigerian federalism is a bicameral legislature, a bicameral legislature. In Nigeria's federalism, there is bicameral legislature adopted at the central or the federal level. We have a bicameral legislature at the central or federal level where we have the Senate and the House of Representatives. So we have the Senate and the House of Representatives and these two can, before a bill can be passed to become a law, the bill has to pass through the Senate and the House of Representatives. So in Nigeria, we operate, in Nigeria at the central or federal level, we operate a bicameral legislature. And this is one of the features of Nigerian federalism. Another feature of Nigerian federalism is at the state level, we have a unicameral legislature, only one chamber of legislature, which is the House of Assembly. So at the state level, we only have one chamber of legislature, which is the House of Assembly. And this is also another feature of the Nigerian federalism, bicameral legislature at the central level, unicameral legislature at the state level. The next thing we'll be looking at is the existence of the Supreme Court, still under the features of Nigerian federalism. There's the existence of a Supreme Court. There's an establishment of the apex court, court called the Supreme, Call the Supreme Court within the judicial arm of government to interpret law and cases and to also perform all sorts of judicial reviews. So um, under the Nigerian federalism, we have a Supreme Court. There's the establishment of the IS Court, which is the Supreme Court, and within the judicial arm of government. So the Supreme Court operates within the judicial arm of government, and the Supreme Court is there to interpret laws and cases and to 
perform judicial reviews, to perform all sorts of judicial reviews. So this is also one of the features of Nigerian federalism. The fact that we have a Supreme Court that helps to interpret our laws and cases and to also um, perform judicial reviews. Another feature of Nigerian federalism is there is no power of secession. Secession is when um, a state or a region under a federal system of government wants to break away from the country and become an independent republic. And we saw that um, when we're looking at the structure of Nigerian federalism between 1975 to date. Um, if you want to look at that video, please look through our previous videos. We looked at the structure of Nigerian federalism from 1975 to date, and we talked about when um, the Eastern region wanted to break away from Nigeria and become the independent um, the independent nation of Biafra, but the other attempt was unsuccessful. So secession is when a nation, um, a region or a state in a country wants to break away from the, from the country. The power of secession is not granted to the component autonomous state in Nigerian's federation. There is no, no state can decide today that they want to suddenly leave. It will take a long, rigorous process before um, such can happen. So under the Nigerian's federalism, that's one of the features of Nigerian federalism. There is no power of secession. No state, is, no autonomous state can is granted the power of secession that to break free whenever they want. We are in this together, unity and diversity. So no, no state can break free from the federation, from the Nigerian, from the Nigerian federalism. Another feature of Nigerian federalism is unequal regional division. In Nigeria's federalism, there exists on unequal division of the country into different regions or states. And this happened right from the time when the country was divided into the northern region, the western region, and the southern region, and um, thereby making the northern region larger than the other parts of the country. So on this unequal regional division was right from the time of Sabo in 1939, when he divided the country into regions. So unequal regional division is also one of the features of Nigeria's federalism. In Nigeria's federalism, there is unequal division of country into different states. Some states are larger than other states. They are more populous than other states. So the state is generally not divided equally in terms of even natural resources and all. So there's unequal division of the state, of the country into different regions or states. Another feature of Nigerian federalism is separation of power. In Nigeria's federalism, there is adequate and effective separation of constitutional power among the arms of government, the executive, the legislative, and the judicial arm of government. No, no power is not fused in one person. So no one person cannot say, I implement law, I make law, I interpret law. No, there's clear division of power. There's clear separation of power, adequate and effective separation of power in the constitution. So there, are, there is a place where the executive can um, have powers. There is a place where the legislative have power. There is a place where the judiciary will be allowed to interpret the law. So there's clear division of power. No, the, the three powers of the arms of government is not vested in one individual. There is, in, the, in the Nigerian federalism, there is adequate and effective separation of constitutional powers among the arms of government, which are the executive, the legislative, and the judiciary the judicial arm of the government. Another feature of Nigeria's federalism is the duplication of organs and functions. Duplication of organs and functions. One of the attributes of Nigerian's federalism is the duplication of the organs of government. The executive, the legislative, and the judiciary arms of government and the duplication of the functions and legislative in departments. What we see is that is in this duplication is that members of the executive are equally members of the legislative. So they are performing two functions. So there's duplication of organs and functions of the government. So in Nigeria's federalism, we can see duplication of the organs of government. There's duplication of the organs of, of government, the functions and, and the responsibility of government. And this is a big disadvantage to, to the nation. And in the course of our classes, when we look at some of the disadvantages of like, some of the, like the, some of the reasons why Nigeria's, Nigeria is not, the federalism in Nigeria is, or some of the disadvantages of Nigeria's federalism, will look at that attribute. Please, um, the video will be out soon. Keep checking. And with this, we've come to the end of the class. In the course of this class, we discussed the features of Nigeria's federalism. We said Nigeria's federalism, the separation of power. Um, all the powers are, they are there's clear division of power in, this, in the constitution. There are duplications of the arms and organs of government, and a lot more. And I'll see you at the next class. Thank you.